Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. So this video surprise is going to be something different from what you usually do. I'm going to talk about to buy a luxury vehicle or not to buy a luxury vehicle. Before we get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon when you notify new videos. And if you really like the video, please help me out with a thumbs up at the end of the video. Okay, first of all, these are status symbol. You can see it, right? You got the Mercedes, you got the Porsche. All these are just wonderful vehicles, I could tell you that. And of course, I don't own any, any of them at all, in particular, because they're out of my budget. But these are great vehicles. And once you own a luxury vehicle, it's kind of hard to go back to the plain Jane vehicles. I could tell you that for sure, right? So status symbol and, you know, exterior, interior could be really beautiful. But keep in mind, you're buying a... Uh, luxury vehicle also you want to pick different brands make sure you check for reliability unless you're leasing it for the first three years then that's not something you really worry about because everything's covered under warranty but if you're not on the warranty anymore and it's out of warranty you gotta be really careful because those costs could add up and i'll explain okay here we have a lexus es 350 f sport so it's a front wheel drive ES with the same engine as the regular ES, but it's the F Sport trim. You may need it also has some special suspension and also a different interior as well too. And you can look at that interior. You could tell this is going to be a really nice ride. And the steering wheel is leather wrapped. You got the nice red seats in this particular with contrasting colors at the same time. And also, look, everything is well laid out. Everything is really high quality. And, you know, you got the Sport badging also on the steering wheel. And all this technology, all this uh, beauty and comfort right, on the ride, right? And, and it does add up over time. Maybe you're going to get extra warranty, right? Like this GS over here it looks like a 2016 200, you know, turbo, right? And, yes. There's also a four-year warranty compared to the conventional vehicles out there, like the Toyota's, like three-year, 36,000 miles. So you got four years on these, right? And also, they're fun to drive, nice to look at, and very luxurious. And, you know, but there's actually a thing if you buy a used vehicle, especially a luxury one, not only that to be uh, mechanically, uh, you know, all perfect, pretty much, right? Otherwise... You're going to be paying a lot of the bills that are not covered, like wear and tear, the tires, and, you know, the maintenance. Some of the stuff you consider if you're buying a luxury vehicle for those folks looking for a luxury vehicle are insurance costs. So the insurance costs going to cost more if you buy a luxury vehicle compared to, say, just a regular. Say this NX over here, right? And this is generation, the first generation NX, by the way. If you buy this generation NX or this RX, RX, you, you could get a, a Highlander, for example, right? You can pay definitely less in terms of insurance costs if you bought the RX, I mean, the Highlander, than the RX. So the RX is going to cost a little bit more. And yes, the ride's going to be more nice. It's more comfortable inside and looks more beautiful. But if you plan to keep the vehicle for a very long time, maybe it's going to be worth it, right? I'm just maybe, right? But keep in mind, another thing that a lot of people got get caught off guard, you're buying a used luxury vehicle and not doing your research if the vehicle is any good is, you know, the repairs could be really expensive. Not all the parts are covered under warranty, right? So if out of warranty, if you're buying a vehicle out of warranty, you're taking a lot of risk because, you know, those repairs could be costly. Uh, here's the RC. So the Lexus RC, and this one kind of like has the front of a GS and the back of an IS. You could think of it that way, right? Very beautiful vehicle overall. I don't think Toyota really has a car that really resembles this one that much. But, you know, you kind of get the, the get the thing, right? It's like, you know, it's really beautiful and it drives great and it looks great and handles. But... And again, the insurance is going to be higher on the Lexus than, say, the Toyota's in particular. And look at that leather inside, by the way, too. It looks really beautiful. The contrasting steering wheel and the seats, just way beautiful, right? So another thing you want to consider, say, this RC over here, right? Also, it uses premium gas. So keep in mind, 
the RX over there, you could use premium gas or, you know, the regular. But not all vehicles, you know, could do regular. You have to be premium. So here's another Lexus, right? Lexus tend to be more reliable than Toyota's and other brands. But keep in mind, yes, it's somewhat still a glorified Toyota. So there's another IS over here. IS, there are plenty of ISs at the... Uh, at CarMax somehow, and that's a great place to shop for vehicles, by the way. And this is an older model, it looks like, but it still works and functions. And these last pretty long, but of course, you go to dealership for maintenance on these, yes, you're going to be paying the price for these as well, too. And here's the ES, could be a, like the 2016 Lexus ES we had. So we found out personally, when you're buying a used vehicle, definitely get your pre-purchase inspection. Get a trusted mechanic, uh, go to a friend's mechanic, or even go to dealership. At least get somebody to look at it before you buy. The place doesn't let you do that. Don't buy it. CarMax, you actually could buy it and return it in so many days. That's really a good policy. So you take the risk out of that. And you just want to take a quick peek inside and see how everything looks. And you can see the wood on the steering wheel, the nice seats and stuff like that. Yeah, everything is very luxurious and comfortable. And the ride is definitely going to be great. And it's going to be very reliable. But still, at the end, you're going to be paying the higher cost. And I'm just emphasizing that because a few folks ask me why luxury vehicle, why not the other vehicles? Well, luxury, you always pay more. It may have a little bit more safety features, I guess, in certain models in particular. And But you, you're going to be paying for it when you do the regular maintenance. And if something breaks down, you can also be paying for it, right? And also like these, uh, this RC over here has staggered wheels. And another RC 350. Stagger wheels mean the front tires and the back tires are different. So you're not going to get as good uh, mileage before you need to change the tires. So that's something to note when you're looking for a vehicle. Make sure you do research really carefully and where you buy it as well too. And this dealership has a lot of RX right now, right? And as you just going down in inventory, because I filmed this a few weeks ago, and you got some NX and stuff like that. But the new one coming out is definitely going to be more higher priced than the current one. And the current one is actually very reliable overall. Just the six cylinder is not as strong. Maybe say the new turbo uh, four cylinder that's coming out. And it looks really beautiful in particular. Hopefully this video gives you an idea between the difference between buying a luxury vehicle and just an average conventional vehicle or I just call it a regular vehicle. Uh, although you sacrifice a lot of luxury and great features, but you actually save more money in the maintenance and repairs if anything were to break. Please help me out with a thumbs up. If you have a comment to share, please leave it below. And i see you next time. Have a good one, folks. Bye.